All right, I have two news clips I want to show you of a robbery that happened in Van Nuys, California at a market. Uh, ATM was ripped out of the store. The reason why I'm showing this is because I used to live in Van Nuys as a kid. I grew up there, went to elementary school there, and it was very close to where I used to live. So I have two news clips I want to show you of this robbery. Let's check it out. Target a popular San Fernando Valley market ripping out the ATM and leaving behind just a trail of destruction. Fox 11's Christina Gonzalez live at the location in Van Nuys. And Christina, you've been at this intersection before where other businesses have been hit. Oh, yeah, the smoke shop across the street, a restaurant over there. It's been nonstop. In this case, detectives still piecing this together, but we have three vehicles with no plates. The first one is a Tahoe. It seems to be a Tahoe anyway from their images. And it literally takes this doorway off. Now, behind it are two vans. Now, they all get spooked out because they're residents at 3 in the morning that hear all this crash. They all come out with their cameras. On top of that, you get a news van coming up on this whole thing. Let's take a look. Police respond to a burglary at the Balboa Market where witnesses woken up by the crash of vehicles used to break the front secured entrance. Describe what they saw. Three o'clock, they uh, backed up. It's three of them hit the back. They used a, looked like a Suburban. They smashed the back of it. it. Looked like they destroyed the sliding door to get in. This video is from the market's security system. The front door is gone. Suspects are inside carrying the ATM machine out. And they left once they saw me record wow. in the back and then they came back again with the two white vans. His security video of the two white vans stopping in front of the broken market door. That's when a news photographer drives up. His dash cam recording the white vans taking off. That photographer follows Juan to a donut shop around the corner where a man gets out, right. walks around, but leaves. Right there, yummy donuts. I know exactly where that is. Del Taco right here. I used to go there as a kid. Uh, my house was maybe three miles away. If, if, at most, about th three miles away. Uh, this was a pretty decent area when I was growing up as a kid. You know, I went to elementary school there, um, Stag Street Elementary. This location was often on, uh, every, my name is Earl. That's why I love that show so much because it was recorded in my hometown, not really where I grew up. And it's, it's very sad to see things like this happen because this was a, a very clean, very safe area when I was a kid in the 90s. Let's keep going. Leaves shortly off camera, the donut shop employee saying the man hung around nervously and left. The supermarket is trashed. The owner doesn't want to be on camera, but his customers do tired of seeing businesses in the area targeted. It's very sad that the community is like that, and I can't believe it. What you're looking at is a flower business that was inside the market things completely destroyed with me, the owner of that business. How much, this is horrible, how much money have you lost? Um, right now, I, I didn't really think about that, but I just can't believe people can just come and destroy something like that. Yep. Security video here from one of several break-ins Fox 11 has covered at businesses across the street where merchants say thousands of dollars spent on security is just not stopping the criminals. All the things, the measures that we've done, it's it still has not prevented them from you know at nighttime right when it gets dark that's when it starts happening now at this point detectives are not ready to call the people in the vans necessarily suspects but they really really want to find those people and talk to them find out what they were doing here in those vans with no license plates they don't work anywhere for here or any of these businesses we're told so looks like the most likely suspect to me Vans with no plates leaving the area, and yeah, uh, sad stuff to see that is going on right in my former stomping grounds as a kid. I just hate to see it. It, it really upsets me, but anyway. But yeah, those, a lot of these things, these measures that employers put in place, these businesses put in place don't work because if people are they're going to get what they want. That's If they want something, they're going to get it. The best thing that works is law and order. Let's keep going. Here's uh, the second video I wanted to show you of this, uh, this break-in. 
small business in the valley hit by crime. It was all caught on surveillance cameras. The thieves got away with a loaded ATM, but caused much more damage. NBC4's Brittany Hope is live in Van Nuys right now, where the cleanup has already been happening all day. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Macaulay, it's just really tough to see. So this boarded up wall, yeah, this used to be the front doors of Balboa Market. You could see it's nailed shut. That's after police say that burglars rammed into the front of the store and got away with the ATM that used to be bolted there. You can see where it used to be. The owner here of this market says he believes there was a few thousand dollars inside. This is a, like a little uh, community store. A little community store dealing with big cleanup. It's a really sad situation because it's happening to a lot of small businesses. The Balboa Market in Van Nuys on Balboa Boulevard and Satakoy Street is the latest target of brazen theft. Yep, Balboa and Satakoy. I know exactly where Satakoy <clears throat> is. <clears throat> it was right there. My neighborhood's right here, and then you have Louise and you have Satakoy right here. It's crazy caught this morning on its security cameras. Just before 3 a.m., you can see lights outside. Seconds later, sparks as the metal gate is cut open. The glass doors are broken into as this person goes inside and heads right for the ATM, wrapping something around it. The walls blow open. Shelves of alcohol bottles fall to the ground. Then the ATM is ripped from the ground and carried away. People who work in this area just across from the market say break-ins like this are actually common. In fact, this smoke shop here, the owner tells me that he put in all of that black grating after they had a break-in as well. And it's not the first time for the Balboa market either. Three years ago, the owner who didn't want to speak on camera tells me someone broke through the same glass doors and stole his safe with more than $10,000 inside. The story for so many brick and mortars who just want to make ends meet and their customers who feel scared. That's why I think online purchases are going up because you just show up and pick up your things and you don't have to worry about being in a location where either gets rushed or so then you get shot just for simply trying to buy something uh, for your family. Yeah. It's a lot, especially for these small businesses. The owner says he thinks it'll take twenty, thirty thousand dollars just to fix these front doors. And then there's those shelves right behind you where all those alcohol bottles came down. You can see they're not even attached to the wall anymore. So that's another, I mean, tens, tens of thousands of dollars lost of alcohol from those bottles as well. LAPD says two white vans were seen driving away from this market this morning. So if you know anything, if you saw anything, give police a call. We're live in yeah, that's um, that's unfortunate. That's these business owners. They're not a bit multi-million, multi-you know, billion-dollar corporation. A lot of these places run on small margins, and they rely on the community to get to get them through um, these types of things, these types of situations. But twenty, thirty thousand dollars is a lot to get these doors fixed because somebody's too lazy to get a job. And the only thing that works is you. Put these people in, in jail. You lock. You, you you. I'm not talking about a slap on the wrist. You arrest them and release them. I'm talking about you lock them up. You make them pay the price. That works. There, the 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 police force uh, down in my community where I live is very strict on this stuff. That's why we don't have this nonsense over here, because they send a loud message to burglars, to thieves. You, you're not doing these types of break-ins in my town. It's not going to happen. Um, I'm not saying it can't, but you know, but they, they, they we don't have ATMs being ripped out of stores and places being ransacked like that. So it's all about how you lay down the law on these people. Your district attorney, your police, um, the, your police chief, whoever, has to be on top of this. Yeah, you have, a, have to have a good mayor who's not going to pub with anything. Um, but it's sad to see because, like I so said, I grew up in this area as a kid. Thankfully, I'm in Texas now. I've been in Texas for a very, very long time. But uh, most of my childhood was spent in Van Nuys, California. And I had great memories there. And I always have, it always has a place in my heart. It's, it's very, uh, a lot of reminiscing of that place. You know, it's good times out there. It was nice and the sunshine. It was all the sun shined differently in, in California when I was a kid in Southern California. Um, I don't know. Uh, just walking through the neighborhoods on Halloween, uh, going to the park, playing basketball at school, riding my bike through the neighborhood, going to these little shops, these little businesses in the area. 
my parents didn't, I didn't know about crime like this. It, it didn't seem like it was that dangerous because over the years when I would, when I would visit, as I got older, it got progressively worse. It got more dirty, more homeless people. Um, it just doesn't look the same as it did when I left. I remember it was very clean. It was safe. My parents never worried about me going outside to ride my bike, ride my bike. And they, we would never worry about crime going shopping at the grocery store. It wasn't like that. So, yeah, it looks like it's gotten worse out there. But, all right, guys, I'm going to leave that right there. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you. Take care.